hello welcome to the stream hi uh hi i'm anna davis court welcome and today we're i can obviously talk really well today we are painting cute foxes <laughs> uh so different from the uh name screen foxes we're gonna make this little guy is pretty much done. I just want to finish up some stuff as people flow into the chat. And then I'm going to, hey, James, I see you. <laughs> Cute. Are you talking about it or me? <laughs> uh, obviously it. Uh, so <laughs> this guy is almost done, but I have a lot more animal characters. So I'm just going to go through the painting process with you. Aw, James says both. How cute. You know, I put these on YouTube, right? That's here forever. Permanent. Uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, well, I could be talking to anyone. So on Twitch, there are videos on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, like five years after I make it, hi from the past. I'm Anna. I might be watching myself in the future and be like, mm, don't know about that girl. All right. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the file structure a little bit. Um, basically, this guy was super fast. I actually have a screen recording of him and I think he took like 30 minutes to color. And that's like nothing in the art world <laughs> uh so i have this page of little animal sketches that i did i think while i was on an airplane one time and um i thought they were really cute so i wanted to give them some color and then be able to post them individually and have them have little you know stories that go with their characters how cute uh, it's some mindless tasks that I really need right now. I just need a break, and this is a really nice little way of breaking while still feeling productive. So, uh, the one I started with was the little foxy, and I just grouped him up. What I'm liking about this right now is that I started with this really rough outline that was red, and then behind it I put this gold, and because the brush that I used, which is the bristle bomb brush, um, it's not completely opaque and it's got this nice streakiness to it so as i colored in not all of it got colored and that's where the gold comes through behind it so i'm going to try to keep that kind of rough and ready look uh, for the animals after this so trying to stay away from being too finished too polished um but what i am going to do is add little tassely bits here and uh, a little bit of shading to the bow so that you can actually see that it's a bow so let's just jump into it that contrast is kind of nice on the present i was just looking at the pattern on the present kind of looks cooler with the dark color behind it but i like the gold so i'm just gonna leave it what am i doing b alt there we go uh and let me know if you have any questions about anything i am just basically doing this for funsies right now and if there's anything about the process, about the Adobe Creative Residency, about the, you know, meaning of life, I would be happy to talk about it. Uh, I think the conversation topic should today it makes sense to be your favorite animal. So, James, what's your favorite animal? Oh, wait, I already know. Red panda. Yeah. I know him so well. Uh, and my favorite animal, let's see. I think... Right now, at least, I'm having to say elephant because I just love them so much. But um, on the whole, I just love it, all animals so much. It's really hard to choose. That's a pretty cute bow. Okay, and then I might make the little buttons on the jacket a different color. What kind of color would go with that? Hmm. Maybe just like a slightly lighter of the blue. So I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. I have to say, if I'm taking any influences right now, it's definitely from the Great Interior Design Challenge, which is on Netflix. And they have kind of opened up my uh, idea of what's, you know, visually appealing a little bit. Because sometimes I'm like, that's a god-awful pattern on that fabric. I hate it. And then they're just like, oh, no, it, it matches the whole scheme. It goes together. And I'm like, it actually looks quite nice once you put it all together like that. <laughs> Oh, hey, crew, they're trickling in. James affirms Red Panda, favorite, of course. And it's capitalized. It's like Mr. Red Panda. <laughs> uh, Long says, hi, hello. <laughs> Wonderful to have you again. Studio Long. And uh, they say, this is adorable. Hey, James. And Lil Bean's here. Hi. <laughs> Paws up. <laughs> is that to say that your favorite animal is a cat? I'm guessing. Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
So we're discussing favorite animals, and so you got to put your stuff in there. <laughs> hype, hype, hype. <laughs> uh, and also, thanks for joining, guys. Uh, what we're doing today is just coloring a bunch of little animals. This is one that I was working on earlier, so he's basically good. But I just wanted to button up a few things as you guys are trickling in. And then we can move on to a new guy. I'm thinking the elephant, because I just said that that's my favorite animal. So obviously I have to work on it now. Um, and not to say that I have anything against any animals. Obviously, I love them all. Um, I love pangolins. Not penguins, but pangolins. And uh, I remember my first like favorite, favorite animal being... Uh, oh my gosh, kinkajou. There we go. I was trying to think of that name. Uh, they're a South American animal, and they look like a cat monkey kind of thing. <laughs> they're beautiful, though, and I love them. I keep pressing the window button and it's killing me. I need to like reprogram that if that's possible. Cause it's really annoying right now. It's been an all day kind of thing. I don't mind the tassels being really rough like that. That's okay. And again, we can always come back to it. So whatever. Uh, although the line around his elbow patch is kind of bugging me cause it's so solid. There we go. Found it. I'm gonna just break that up a little bit. Thick to thin, thick to thin, except it's like th thin to none, <laughs> but I like that. Here we can get a close up of this guy. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Oh, he's so cute. Ah. All right. Now he's just on his way to work going do 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 do, bringing a present to his little friend. Oh, and his friend is one of these guys. So I vote elephant, but I want you guys to have a say. So what do you guys think? Elephant, frog, I imagine this is crow, because I was uh, on a crocuri kick, which is the name of our... Okay, so James and I are uh, into playing D&D, &D, and we had this one campaign going where we were uh, twins... Uh, what are they called, James? They're called <gasps> kinkus. And those are basically like crow people, and ours were twins, and mine was named crocuri, and his was... Uh, he, he, James, I'm blanking on the names. It's been a while since our campaign. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible. Crow, 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 and crow, 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 crow. Anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, and so I drew this little crow guy, and then tiger. I'm guessing very rounded tiger, maybe snow leopard, and then alligator gal. I imagine gal. I don't know why. Okay, let's see what the chat's saying. <laughs> oh, Studio Long says frog. All right. Uh, Bean says my favorite animal is rats, actually. I have a whole mischief at home. Is that what the group of rats is called? A mischief? I love that. I had rats growing up. Uh, Moonshadow and Sunshine <laughs> were my two. Was, uh, and Violet. Can't forget Violet. She was uh, the one when I was the oldest I had her. She was the first brown rat I ever had. They were all white up until then. And she got a bunch of tumors, the poor girl. But we got them. <laughs> My mom was so generous. She got her surgeries. And so every time they would take a tumor off, she'd have the cone of shame. And it was just this tiny little <laughs> little cardboard, like, handmade thing. It was the cutest and kind of worth the surgeries. <laughs> but, like... I'm still so grateful that my mom let, you know, had hundreds of dollars sunken into an animal that's going to live for two years, but I love Violet so much, so worth it to your child, I think. Uh, and I love rats. They're wonderful. Um, I would love to have one now, but I don't know if James could deal with an a animal that lives in a cage. I think he wants it to be able to go to the bathroom and not clean up after it like that. <laughs> I mean, obviously clean up after it, but not in the same way, you know. Uh, and then, let's see, Studio Long Kinkajou, it's a very advanced first favorite animal. My mom would get us uh, these nature documentaries, and so I learned all about just every animal on the planet, and I loved them all. <laughs> and, you know, you gotta be a cool kid and be like, you know, out of the norm, Kinkajou. <laughs> but I also had this dream of going to South America and finding a Kinkajou and having it as my pet, obviously. Uh, frog bear rabbit. I'm flipping in love with that frog. Uh, kind of predictable. <laughs> frog bear rabbit. <laughs> I don't have a bear or a rabbit on here, so clearly. <laughs> uh, 
James says Key and Co. Yeah, I, I remember their shorts of their name, but where are the long forms of names? Because Key and Co. It was like Kiko. Cute. Uh, I've been trying to reference, or Frogbear reference, or er, <laughs> Frogbear Rabbit says, I've been trying to reference it for my channel logo. Such a cute design. Oh, I love it. Uh, let's see. Studio Long literally just woke up from a post stream nap. It was exhausting. Oh. Good job streaming. I'm sorry that it was so exhausting. I know that it can be I'm talking a lot, engaging with the peeps, but uh, I actually kind of get hyped by it sometimes. I guess it depends on the mood, you know. Uh, right now I'm feeling like I actually had a, what do you call it, like a video chat meeting with some people professionally. Whoa, I just cracked. And so I felt a little bit hyped after that and I'm like, let's just ride this straight into a stream. Let's go for it, man. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Lil Bean says, yeah, a group is a mischief. And unfortunately, mammary tumors are really common. Is that just, yeah, she was my first uh, female rat. So maybe it's just female experience. That really sucks. Uh, I was too young to know exactly what was going on. But mom would just take care of her, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, Gartiri, Gartiri, right? Yeah, Gar. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Love that cat. Uh, that would be an awesome pet. I can only imagine streaming is a little tiring. It it can be for sure. But, you know, we do it for the love of it. So, uh, all right. What I'm hearing is overall frog. Is that correct, guys? I think frog. And then, of course, we can get to the other ones as, what, as much as we feel. I just took a big old break to read the chat, so sorry about that. <laughs> I just want to talk to you guys, okay? I don't really get out anymore. This is my socialization. Although tomorrow I'm actually seeing a friend for the first time like in months. I feel bad because she moved back from New York not too long ago. And uh, I have barely seen her since she's been in Portland. I'm just like, you were literally across the country. I was so sad I couldn't see you. And now you're down the street and I can't see you because I'm busy. <laughs> like, that's that's not okay. So this is the first step that I'm going through is just painting in a layer. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be opaque. Um, this time I started with gold, but I'll probably, I'll show you the process after this. Uh, this is just a super fast and straightforward way of laying in a character. And I love the idea of bringing this to places where they want you to quickly bust out some character designs because literally all you have to do is worry about like shape and expression and stuff instead of you know all the ins and outs of a character you can pump out something really satisfying uh pretty quickly and that's probably anthony texting me let's see ah no it's gartieri <laughs> replying to the story hey <laughs> i see you oh i love it Okay, excellent. Uh, let's duplicate that. And then the first one, I'm going to pixel lock and I'm going to choose an overall color that I'm feeling for the character, kind of like a desaturated yellow green. And then I have this golden behind it. And I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty subtle right now, but the gold behind it adds just a little bit of depth and kind of fills in the holes a little bit. I'm going to just emphasize that by continuing to add more gold and just thicken it out. And you can quickly do this just by duplicating the layer a few times and then collapsing it down. Whoops, I collapsed it. I collapsed it onto its sketch. There we go. So you can see a little bit of it coming out more. So I just fill in these little gaps and make it a little bit more pronounced. And then it has just this little bit of underpainting on it. I love that look of old paintings when they would have kind of the canvas or the, uh, what would you call it like a wash underneath showing through so that's what i have as a goal let's see oh 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 okay studio <laughs> i was like is there something important you said my name <laughs> uh first time with cam and mike and i was drawing a streamer i mod for uh for chat so it was a handful oh wow that's a crazy thing to like draw a likeness of a person I feel like is really uh challenging so good for you that like just all the props for streaming in general <laughs> I definitely enjoy it but it's it's more of a challenge than I thought it would be to like set up and everything but like I don't know I get a satisfaction from things like that 
kind of a weirdo. But, uh, no, actually, I think I want him to have, like, a brown leather jacket almost, like, or bomber jacket kind of style. Um, but, yeah, the streaming life, I think... It really depends on whether you're introvert or extrovert, whether it can be satisfying or exhausting sometimes. Um, but I would love to tune into your stream sometime, see you at work. God, do it. And then he's got like layers of pants and then his hat. What do you think? Like a red hat? Red hats are a statement. This is basically the part where I just lay in a bunch of colors and see if I like them together. And if not, then I change it all up. And again, I'm trying to be real loose with it. Uh, I just have a clipping layer mask to the green layer, so I'm not committed to anything at this point. I'm going to do some dark blue boots, real desaturated. Now, the real question is not just your favorite animal, but if you could choose to be any animal, what would you be? That's the real question. I would have to be something that flies. Got a dit. Let me, I'm gonna look at his sketch for a second and just imagine what kind of colors I want this character to wear. I want a light blue to be on him somewhere. Maybe his pants can be light blue. Cause I don't like it for the shirt. I also threw a, what would you call this? black and white layer above it so that I can see the values and make sure they're at least decent. I don't have to have them perfect, but decent is good. I'm gonna just do it to this line and then we'll have a little bit of me and then a, a high sock. Excuse me, he's the littlest burp in life. Gold, that will be his shirt, yeah? Maybe it stands out too much. Blur the eyes. Blur the eyes. Every now and then I get a little bit colorblind. It's fine. I think the brown needs to become a different kind of brown. Tan? Uh, oh, the yellow. That is why. No, I like the other one better. So what about this? Do I want to change? Let's make this gold. A little bit more like this gold. That's better. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, I'm missing out, guys. Okay, uh, oh, the process is really cool. Oh no, my favorite is frog, but I'd also have something that flies. Oh yeah. Uh, being a frog would probably be pretty not pleasing. <laughs> like, they're super cute, but I don't want their lifestyle in any way. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <laughs> frog, bear, rabbit, of course, cuttlefish, obvi, <laughs> long, um, frog, bear, rabbit, explain. <laughs> uh, Gar says, I'm more silent in chat painting with you. I hope to finish my entry in time for the light box competition. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's super cool. Hope to be there, uh, but it's a lot of money to get there. <laughs> Otherwise, it's probably next year. I mean, on the whole, that place, I mean, compared to CTN, that is a cheap convention. But I am so there. Like, if you come, we got to meet up because that would be super fun. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be showing this year, but oh my gosh. Like, everybody's going to Lightbox. If you guys haven't heard about it, Lightbox is a new convention happening in uh, California in November, I believe. And it's run by Bobby Chu and some of the guys who run uh, Emerald City Comic Con. Every artist in the entertainment industry is, like, showing up. So it's awesome. I am super excited for that one. And I think the tickets for a whole weekend is starting at like $150, which is, I know it's a lot to like get there and pay for it and everything, but CTN was passing the $300 mark for the weekend, I think. So much cheaper. 
Uh, Frog Bear Rabbit. Haha, ha, Studio Long. <laughs> uh, they're amazing. Underwater chameleons. They're like little aliens. They so are. I love watching videos of them. Uh, <laughs> Studio Long says right now his outfit is very Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm into that. I love Stranger Things. Uh, favorite character from Stranger Things. Go. Uh, Frog Bear Rabbit. Frog Bear Rabbit has diff origin. <laughs> uh, Studio Long says, wow, that's dirt cheap. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, and that's like the early bird special. So if you guys want tickets, like hop on them. I think it's starting in like a few days. They're going to go on sale. So like hop on that. It's really worth it. Uh, if you guys haven't been to an art convention before, do it. It's really good. Uh, Gar says, yes, indeed. More light, uh, flight tickets from all the Netherlands. Yeah, that is quite the pricey ticket. Just to hop aboard uh, the plane with Lois. She could probably fit in her bag, and I know she's going to show up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I can't imagine having to cross the world for it. Actually, I can, because there's this uh, children's book fair that happens in Bologna, Italy, that I really want to go to, and I'm like, that's probably, like, once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime kind of trip I would make, because... Like, once I'm in Italy, I'm just going to tour Europe. Like, <laughs> if you're over there, you might as well use the time, right? But I'm not going to do that flight all the time. <laughs> no way. Uh, Studio Long says 11. She's badass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gar says tomorrow is the ticket sale. Uh, which one? Oh, the um, Children's Book Fair. It's uh, the Bologna Children's Book Festival. And it looks awesome. I really want to go. And I think that 11 would probably be my favorite. But in season two, seeing everything that um, Will went through, I was just like, my baby Will. Oh, I love him. <laughs> but I think everything's fantastically acted in that show. So got to just say props to everyone. And I'm digging Stranger Things outfit. I'm into that. A lot more Stranger Things outfits all on me. Uh, yeah, let's see. I want to lighten his boots a little bit, and then I think we can move on to some line action. Again, I want these to just be really quick, so I'm not, like, going to finick over color too long. And I'm not going to finick over any, like, mark making, really. It's just going to be one and done. And then uh, my goal is to look at them all as a group, and then I can edit a few things and then post them. Doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> In theory. <laughs> We'll see where we get. I'm sure there'll be some hang up where I'm like, oh no, I have to change the anatomy or something. But, you know, we live for the now. What I love about the way that frogs are stylized in animation and stuff, like if you guys have seen uh, Soul Eater, there's this little frog character who has these like super prominent little circles on her cheeks. And I just love that to be like a froggy thing. Just cute. I should add that. I'm going to on this yellow layer. Uh, as you can probably see, my layer makeup doesn't really make any sense. Usually it's just kind of generally if uh, the colors don't touch, then they're on one layer. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I just want to be able to easily be like, all right, this area and I have that. So I don't want it to be on top of the green. That's that's basically how my idea or my brain like rationalizes stuff. And then I just click around to find stuff. I know it's not super pro, but it's it's how I get stuff done. <laughs> okay, so back to lines because he's got a bright pink blush, which I might change the color of that later. But right now I'm just like into it. Uh, I'm going to add some lines to his jacket because that's one of those important things to have it differentiate between where his arm is and where his jacket is. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm into these sketchy lines for showing delineation. Just being like real loose with it. Not worrying too much about really anything at all. Isn't that just 2019, right? <laughs> Let's not worry. Let's try that and see if it works out. And little bits of detail. And then this bit of detail. Do, do, do. No, that's too much. Zipper? Sure. Yeah, I'm into that. 
Some buddies messaging again. Uh, Brick Castle is now following me on Twitch. Is Brick Castle in the chat? Wow, I have nine people watching. Hey, crew. I think we're in a good place. Yay. <laughs> I was so afraid when I went to New York that it, like everybody would stop watching because, you know, it's usually like a routine thing that you build up. You guys are just like tried and true. You're awesome. Thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you guys, sorry, I'm trying to catch up in the chat. Yeah, Gar, it's in Italy. <laughs> uh, Jay Witty Wit, hi, <laughs> hello, welcome. <laughs> uh, Studio Long says, I love it, very loose. It keeps that magic sketchy quality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love sketchy quality. Like, I, I don't like being tight anymore. I used to be like, oh, I should be, you know, professional or whatever and it's just like you know nobody cares most of the time people look at these things for like five seconds uh and in those five seconds i would just want them to smile i just want them to be happy so uh if that you know if a scribble gets the job done why spend hours <laughs> but um i also understand that some people feel like immense satisfaction with spending a ton of time on one thing i've definitely done that before uh, I just think it's more of an exception than a rule for me. But that's my way of doing it. Uh, hey, Jay Witty Wit. <laughs> so studio, studio long. Blah, blah. <laughs> Again, I can talk, guys, so much. <laughs> Gar says, I need to see Italy, too. There's a school there with awesome workshops. Idea Academy workshops. Ooh. Loish gave a workshop there and a lot of amazing artists. And it's a three-day course with one artist that will teach you their technique. That is awesome. I would love that kind of intensive with some artists. Just be like, hey, teach me everything you know. <laughs> I would love it. Um, one of the things that I'm learning for sure right now is just that the um, I'm, I'm in the right industry, I think, because learning some of the business side of things is fascinating to me. Like, I actually do want to go through these boring lessons of like, here's how to you know, start an LLC or like uh, take care of your taxes or whatever. I think it's just because you kind of have to learn it. And so knowing that there's some source of information that actually will teach you that kind of stuff is very uh, just comforting. <laughs> it feels like, yes, this is feeding my brain. This is nutrition for me. <laughs> I'm going to add the same little dots to his socks as I gave to the fox. Fox socks spots. <laughs> That's what we're going for right now. Frogs. Uh, Jay Woody Witt says, man, the opportunity to go to a class in Italy is intense. I mean, I thought I was going to go to college in Ireland because <laughs> I was just like looking around and thinking, this is my opportunity to travel. Why not go big? And then I realized that like I would cry every day if I left my family and <laughs> I just like needed them around at that point. So I didn't go to Ireland, but uh, I'll definitely go someday. And same with Italy, and same with anywhere else in the world. <laughs> I basically just want to go everywhere. As I think most people do. Alright, this guy, I'm going to just define this out a little bit. Just to make sure he looks like it makes sense. To make sure it looks like he makes sense. Is that correct? Who's asking, man? Who cares? No, I'm going to rein that back in. It's too far out. Yeah. All right, so his hat needs to be reined in a little bit here, and then we're going to give him some liney action. Bliney, he's bliney. One of my favorite things is to turn off the sketch and see if it still fits. Like, <laughs> if it still holds up after the sketch is off, then we're doing something right. And right now I'm being lazy and not going back to my usual brush. I'm just using the small one. It's kind of important that the hat outlines his face correctly here or else we lose the shape design of his head. Which we're also losing a little bit on the cheek. I want that to be nice and rounded. Cute! He is so cute!
turn around every now and then i get a little bit lonely and you know i keep singing on stream they're gonna demonetize my youtube videos but i don't monetize them anyway so i guess there's no harm in it it's a whole thing guys i'm gonna save real quick and read ya uh have a fun stream time go to get my learning on yeah see you jay witty wit <laughs> have a great day and i hope that you learn a ton i want to take another class like an actual class class where you get to i think honestly i i want the interaction with the other students <laughs> uh I've been learning, of course, constantly from my mentor, but it's a whole other thing when you go through a class, I think. It would be nice to have some camaraderie of doing one project with a bunch of other people. Made his legs a little bit thinner. Um, but I am teaching a class this summer, so having students that you're teaching is almost like having students that you learn with, so <laughs> that'll be really fun. And... Uh, I think that we could do some of the work almost on these streams too, where it's like, it's basically just character design. I think this will help me a lot with teaching, by the way, just talking to you guys, because it's making me work and talk at the same time. And that's a lot of what teaching classes is like. <laughs> it's explaining what you're doing and not getting super tripped up by other people watching you. I want to do something with this hat. I'm not quite sure what. Hmm. Maybe I'll give it white spots, kind of like the shirts. Do, do, do. Oh, then it makes it look almost like a mushroom cap. One of those poisonous ones. He's a poisonous dart frog, and so he picks up these mushrooms, and he's like, ha ha, it matches me outfit. How flippin' cute. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is that good? So you can see how quickly these come together. It's like real fast. Um, one thing though that I do want on him is uh, a delineation between his, oh, that actually can work. His face and his neck. Um, I think if I were going for realism, I would put shadow under there, but I don't want realism. <laughs> is that weird? No, who wants realism? Does that look too much like weird nostrils? Maybe. Just gonna put some little dashes all around him to make him feel a little handmade and hand drawn. That's something I picked up from Taryn Knight. I love how she uses dashes in her work. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw a little bit of that blush on his little knee bobbles. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Oh. Okay. And then these guys are going to have little tie up boots and big old bow. That's the kind of stuff that, like, it takes years to grow a visual library to make it that easy to, like, pop stuff in. So funny. But I think of, like, oh, this is so children y and dumb to, like, put it on and it just, like, throws it on and stuff. And I'm like, in college, I would have never done those kind of marks. I would have never like, oh, here's little details all over the place and it's pretty easy to lay them in. It would have taken me all day to figure out what I wanted to put in. Would have done all this research and felt like it was the weight of the world on this one detail and now I'm just like, meh. And it comes easier and it's happy and fun. And I feel like that's kind of a, a landmark in drawing, which I'm very happy to have reached. <laughs> oh man. Studio Long says, oh yeah, on SVS, yeah. SVS is awesome, guys, if you haven't checked it out. It's a good online school. Uh, Society for Visual Storytelling. Gar says, looks amazing, love the colors. Oh. <laughs> Studio Long says, I'm psyched, just finished the backgrounds class. Haha, <laughs> mushroom cap. <laughs> That's awesome, backgrounds class. I just finished uh, Lee's three-part series of how to make money in illustration. Oh my gosh, so much information. It's all really good, but like he admits that um, it's a little hard to get through because he adds these little kittens to the financial portion where he's like, if you can't stand it, just like, here's a kitten. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot to get through. All right, I'm gonna group this guy. Boop. Let's move on to the next. All right, I'm gonna do elephant. I called it. But you guys, uh, tell me which one you want after the elephant, and then I'll do that one. Beep. Ball. So, do you think elephant, male, female, in between? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with like a periwinkle color because I always love that for elephants or olifants, as Mr. Samwise says it. Olifants, Mr. Frodo. They're taking the Hobbit's dies in guard. And I'm trying to be as loose and fast as possible. I want to have some of it show through, so like not going over the same marks a million times. Turn and stop singing. It's stuck in my head, you guys. Give me another song. Oh, I just went through like an entire day of having a sunflower from Spider-Verse into the Spider-Verse stuck in my head. It's a good song, but it was a lot. <laughs> a lot of sunflower. That's so cute. Okay. And then boop. And I'm gonna steal the gold from the foxy guy. Boop. See that just instantly adds so much color and character to it. Do 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 Yeah, that's that good stuff. Awesome. Okay, so we've got this to start off with. I'm going to round out that head a little bit. Then I'm going to start doing clipping masks to it and pull up the sketch above it. Let's see, I want him to have like a reddish sweatshirt. Probably like a reddish purple. values yeah that works maybe the trees on it will be gold and then we can have some kind of tertiary color in there for the little wiggly stripes I'll have to add that one to my list that's what I was going to suggest oh really the elephant uh, yes it is a very worth it class to take it's wonderfully full of information and I'm gonna feel like find every uh you know every bit of it and like listen it again and um do all the stuff that he says because there's literally like he gives you spreadsheets in it for how to fill out you know uh, or what to fill out to figure out like your branding or uh where you should advertise or what to do for your finances being a freelance artist and stuff like that I feel like that information alone just pays for an entire year of SVS <laughs> like like, the whole thing is so worth it. Just that one class. Oh, so good. Uh, but then there are a million other great classes. I needed to listen to more. I'm trying to, like, overlap it with doing some work. And so trying to double task or whatever you call it, multitask. But it's a lot. Drink water, you guys. Remember that. Keeps you good. By the way been doing these little sculptures lately little fox guy is wearing a scarf surprise surprise oh where have i seen that before i'm kind of addicted to it can't stop putting scarves on animals it's okay i think it's a a very easy problem to overcome so what kind of pants would this guy wear would they be khaki is that kind of weird? I think it's weird because it's almost like, eh, it's too light. Nah. Let's see if it's like a jeans color. If that would work. Or if that's too close to his skin tone. Wait, whoops, there we go. 
Well, the value's off. <laughs> those remind me of those jorts, you know, like uh, jean shorts. <laughs> and my phone had to tell me that there's a new trailer out for Shazam, you guys. It's already sent me two alerts for this over the last few days. It really wants me to see this trailer. <laughs> I mean, if anybody's going to be a Tishazam, it's probably going to be me. But still, like, calm down, Google. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's another option for his pants? Like, a... ah, it's still too close to his color. Let's see. I guess, you know, pants can be any color. Whatever. Stop thinking in reality, Anna. Get out of there. Just make them any color. like really doofy but like why not <laughs> okay I'm just gonna start laying on other colors because I can't can't stay still too long okay and then we're gonna do gold uh, trees on here it's kind of like a Christmas sweater that he's wearing beep boop and beep Tilt. Boop. Maybe another one on his little sleeve. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Um, by the way, I didn't want to forget this. I want to ask you guys where you heard about the residency. If you guys know what the residency is, I'm assuming most of you do. Uh, it's something that I was asked today uh, in a call about basically just where like I found it I found out from Sid Weiler but uh, <laughs> khaki pants or more orange <laughs> yeah we'll play with the pants color I doubt it'll stay this light purple um, but I was just curious where you guys heard about the residency because I didn't even think about that like oh yeah they want to know where to advertise and stuff so it'd be interesting to find like the optimal point to which not only visual artists go to find this kind of information but like where videographers photographers ui ux people would go to find out about the residency or like where they would find out about it for the first time not knowing anything i told them a lot of artists listen to podcasts and so I recommended a few podcasts that I listened to and uh, basically to advertise through using artwork first like I know I'm drawn into a post much more if it's art heavy like if it's um, I never look at travel ads or anything like that really uh, but the one for Oregon that came out of a year or two ago it was called uh, only slightly exaggerated and it was this beautiful video of Oregon in like a Ghibli-esque animation style and that is hands down my favorite advertisement I've ever seen and I think that it was because they made it something entertaining on its own like usually ads are for something entertaining and they're trying to sell it to you like hey click on this link to see something cool and I just want to see something cool <laughs> so if you show it to me and then there's interesting information that goes with it like the residency obviously is a positive everybody wants to know about it they just need a way to break through the idea that this is an ad this is promotion because all promotions are just annoying and you don't want to look at them Woo! a lady golden elephant <laughs> uh studio long i heard sid on a podcast years ago see i never heard that she was on a podcast i just saw it i think it was on twitter but I know now that all the residents are everywhere. Like, they try to advertise it every way they possibly can. So, it's out there for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gar says, oh, I like the details. <laughs> uh, so long, I've been tuned in since then. That's awesome. See, that's a really lasting impression. And I love that so many people found it through Sid. I think it's just because her artwork reached so many people and she was... Uh, a wonderfully, uh, you know, relatable kind of artist where she she really does talk to people in a way that they get it. It's honestly why I started streaming because she streamed and I was just like, oh man, that seems like a really good way to relate to people. 
Kind of make this a little bit lighter, a little more saturated and red. Is that weird? I think it's the base color that I want to change. I want it to be slightly more saturated. Yeah, I like that better. Sorry, I'm just staring like <laughs> I'm reading. Uh, Lil Bean says, same, I was in Sid's Discord. Awesome. Hey, Andre! Cat, cat, okay. <laughs> I thought that was all your name, but it's illustrates at the end. Okay, that's a little less long. Hi, Andre. <laughs> uh, Studio Long says, I don't think they need to sell it. They just need to get the residents out there talking about it. Absolutely. Uh, that's what they're trying to do as much as possible, but they're... You know, it's they're trying to get it out there as much as possible, but we can't be everywhere at once. So it's really, they have like all teams on it at all times. <laughs> it's impressive how much they try. Uh, but yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity. So it's not like they're they're really like, hey, gimmicky, try to you know get this out there. It's more like they're like, hey, you need it, we need it. Let's let's get together. <laughs> And I really, I'm looking so forward to meeting all the new residents this year. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I have no news, guys. They don't tell me anything about it, so I'm sorry. But I, I can't say anything about how the, the I know that Julie is in London right now uh, doing some interviews and um, basically traveling the world. She's the residency manager. But other than that, I have no idea what's going on. So <laughs> it's all just in the lap of the Adobe peeps. <laughs> Andre says, cool character. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm painting some animals. Uh, we've done a frog and this fox is what we started with. Um, so they're all going to be kind of in this style. And I'm feeling like he's a lot brighter than these other two. So I might add some bright touches in here. Um... And then Lil Bean says, actually, I think I found Sid from her stream now that you mention it. Back when Adobe used to run a channel that hosted art streams, they were on Twitch. And I'm so sad that they're not anymore. I want them to be on Twitch. Um, but actually, a friend of mine, Nick Silva, who is Niku Senpai on uh, Twitch, he's actually really good on Twitch. He's awesome. Um, and he was one of their like Adobe affiliates or whatever on here. And I thought that was so cool. And then they shut down the program. It was so sad. But, you know, it's the way it goes. Sometimes it doesn't work out. And uh, it was a plus while it happened. <laughs> and now they have Adobe Live on Behance. If you guys haven't checked that out, that's also awesome. I want to get back on there. It's so much fun. Oh, yeah, those are some hot pants. I'm like, I hope that doesn't work because those pixels are locked. A hmm. little bit of light leaking through. Yeah, I think it's the skin tone doesn't have enough pop at the moment, but it might just be that he needs his details drawn on. Actually, I'm going to throw, I, I swore I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw a little bit of a color balance layer on just to unify the colors slightly. Um, the reason I swore I wouldn't do it is just because I wanted these to be super fast and I didn't want to get caught up in the colors like I always do. <laughs> I have tendencies, guys, <laughs> but that's totally fine if it's like a not spending an hour on a color picker kind of thing. I just want these to be a little bit lighter than the usual fare. Yeah, much better. I like that. All right, now I'm going to apply these to each of these layers so that they stay separated. All right, now we can dive into some line work. Boop. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm missing out on so much stuff. There's so much to read. Sorry, guys. 
Yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, Studio Long says, yeah, I've been asking a lot of, uh, it's asking a lot of a few people who are trying to art. <laughs> yeah. Imagine like you're doing all your art stuff and then like, hey, put everything down. They need you to do videos or a blog post or like something. Um, I have a feeling I didn't get it though. I feel like by this time last year I had heard, uh, I wouldn't count on that. Like, I, I don't want you guys to hold out. Like, always assume that you haven't gotten it just to make sure that you're less brokenhearted. Um, and, of course, there's always next year. It's really not that bad of a thing. You'll get it eventually if you keep trying. Um, but it is something that they are continually working on, and you never know if you're the last person they get to. So you never know, but just assume you didn't. Just to be, like nice to yourself <laughs> I had to do that every single step of the way after the interviews after like whatever thing they had me fix I was just like and that's the end and it was a great ride while it lasted and I'll apply again next year <laughs> I want to apply again next year <laughs> I can't though so darn it mm. it would be so selfish <laughs> but seriously I could do it for the rest of my life for sure um, and then after that, I was still reading. Uh, Andre says, lovely. <laughs> uh, little Bean says, yeah, I forgot to take note of the info at the end of the app. Oh, the application, which mentioned a loose lice, l uh, loose timeline of when you'd hear. Uh, mine was about an, uh, an hour. About a month after I applied, they emailed me about it. But I am one case in a million. So I have no idea. Um, I don't want anybody to like it's the catch 22 because I also want you to consider it like you didn't get it but I also don't want you to break your own heart when it could be a possibility um but uh actually I've been getting some messages from people saying like hey when did you hear about yours because they have like a work opportunity coming up and they don't know whether to take it or not and I'm like live your life as if you didn't get it because it would be super dangerous to assume anything about the residency um, because it is, uh, like, considering all of the people who are doing it and everything, like, it is a far shot for anyone. But that doesn't mean you can't get it, obviously. Um, but it's just one of those things that I don't want anybody turning down work opportunities for it. <laughs> like, once you get the message that it's yours, then you can drop everything. But before that, hold on to everything. Like, live life as if you don't have it. <laughs> Always. I'm gonna give them little eyelashes. Cute. Uh, and then uh, Andre said, I watched your stream on Behance. You were working on a print for Light Gray Art Lab. I, I didn't have a print for art, Light Gray Art Lab. Uh, that might be somebody else. But I love Light Gray Art Lab. They're awesome. <laughs> I would love to work with them. Uh, and Lil Bean says, I was doing art for a card deck charity that a community was doing, some crossover between Adobe and Twitch, but it ended up getting shelved when Adobe streaming pro uh, program was ended. That's unfortunate. Can you at least use the art in your portfolio? Hopefully. <laughs> I miss the Adobe channel too. <laughs> Um, yeah, last year I heard on March 8th. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you've still got a few days. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the schedule and deadline for applications was different last year. It's true. I can imagine it would differ year to year when they get to yours. Um, it was a portrait of a girl for Light Gray Art Lab? No, I don't. I haven't ever done anything for Light Gray Art Lab. But, I mean, I could have done a portrait of a girl for sure. Um, I might have talked about Light Gray Art Lab because I absolutely love what they do and I really want to go there. <laughs> I want to go to there. Uh, but they have amazing, if you guys haven't heard of them, uh, they basically like, okay, so they're a series of galleries, but they also uh, fund these trips, not fund, but partially fund, but organize these trips where artists go to uh, different countries, kind of in residency style situation, and uh, experience the landscape and do gallery shows based, up, based off of it. So there's one that um, I believe Sid did uh, in Iceland. There we go. <laughs> That's the name of that country. <laughs> uh, and it was just fantastic. The artwork that came out of that was amazing, as always. So uh, that was one of those 
things that Sid also introduced me to. She's just all about it, man. She's got them all. Um, but yeah, I really want to go on one of the trips. I've been talking one of my friends into doing uh, the one that they do for Japan. I absolutely love to do that. And it's a really good way to form a super close community with some artists because you bond intensely when you travel with someone. Okay. Those are goofy little fingers, but I'll take them. <laughs> and then this, and then this. And I'm gonna put some big old loops of boop, boop. That's the wrong layer, whoops, whoops. And a boop, boop <laughs> of, uh, what do you call them? Tied shoes, loops of some sort. <laughs> Uh, oh, don't worry. Definitely in my portfolio. Little bean. Uh, yes. That's great that you got to use it for your portfolio because I feel like that is the one. Um, Andre, don't worry. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what it was, but like, I'm sure you're remembering correctly. I just don't think it was for like Ray Art Lab because I, I, I can't remember anything that was ever associated with them. But uh, now you're putting it back on my radar, so you're reminding me that I want to work for them <laughs> or with them on something. Um, that would be super cool. I've also been looking into gallery shows because I really wanted to do one for the end of the year like party. But um, they, they were talking about doing it as the like end of the residency thing, is having a gallery show for all of us, which would have been really cool. But only a few of us are really gallery showers where it like makes sense to show our work in galleries. And so they decided to do something different. And it's, I believe, going to happen in New York instead. Um, but it's uh, something that I, I, I feel like I want to experience having a gallery show of my own. Um, however, that class that I was talking about through SVS that was about how to make money in illustration, Lee goes over what uh, showing at galleries is like and how much money they take from you. And it's like 50% of whatever you earn goes to the gallery. Whatever you earn. If you sell originals for $10,000, you're getting $5,000 and then you're out an original. And like, there's just so much negative to it. But, um, he was saying, like, yeah, it's a really great way to have a good time, uh, expose your own work and all that stuff, and, like, drink wine with your buddies, but, like, it's not a money-making scheme. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not, obviously not, like, I need to show in galleries to make my million dollars or anything like that, but it is disheartening to think that it would be such a money suck. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just investing to kind of have my own little narcissistic moment of my stuff in a show <laughs> but uh it is what it is I'm I'm fine with not showing uh but if it were something like a show with multiple artists like like Grey Art Lab does sometimes they do shows um there's also a Gallery Nucleus that does a lot of shows where there's an entertainment value to it so there's uh um, there was one show that I remember Claire Hummel doing where it was based off of Treasure Planet, I believe, was the inspiration for that one. Gorgeous work coming out of there. Basically just a gallery for fan art, but from these artists who are in the professional industry. And it was the best. <laughs> I would absolutely love to do that. Again, I always wonder if my work would be fit for that again because like I'm going in a different direction now uh but I would love to do it at some point I think that Zoe Persico has also done gallery nucleus shows so and she also went on the like rare art lab trip apparently it's a thing like all of us just do it at some point <laughs> um but if you guys don't know Zoe Persico is a an amazing children's book artist and um she's just wonderful so uh, check out her work for sure and what was the other thing oh gallery nucleus I can't remember which movie she did maybe it was Lilo and Stitch but um, beautiful beautiful work that came out of there 
Got to do the sound effects. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. No, that's too thick. Better, better, much better. Uh, the pants need some dashes, definitely. They need like intense. Maybe I'll make them patterned. No, I think I'll just do some like little hatches all over them. Maybe, whoops, not layer masked. There we go. Do these feel like jorts to you guys? It's like uh, that guy from Silent Bob and what's his face? I don't know if you guys remember jorts. <laughs> or basically they're just jean shorts, but they're incredibly wide like this where it feels like, whoa, cut off. <laughs> and then the tiny little leg comes out. So good. Fashion. <laughs> Oh, Andre, you said, I participated in one of those about spiritual animals, but the Iceland residency so seems so damn cool. It really is. Uh, and spiritual animals, that's awesome. <laughs> Frog Bear Rabbit, I'm back! <laughs> Welcome back. And Jay Woody Wit, too. I feel like that uh, there's yeah, that's the constant struggle in learning how to know if you're good enough. <laughs> How'd the frog go? You want to see the frog? Let's group this guy. Here's Froggy so far. I'm going to add a little uh, drop shadow of gold underneath him. Uh, I might also add, I'm considering adding a little bit of um, soft light, like gradient kind of stuff to them. So we'll see that afterward. And this guy has got a pretty different color makeup than the other guys. Uh, and then Jay Woody Wit. That's the constant struggle of knowing if you're good enough. Totally. <laughs> I missed it. Not sure. <laughs> Frog was a 10 out of 10. Elephant is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I need 11s here, people. Come on. <laughs> no, if you guys know we rate dogs, you gotta follow that. I mean, come on. It's the best Twitter ever. But thank you, Studio Long. You're so sweet with your rating system. <laughs> I don't know where I could go wrong. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, I'm liking that. Little hatch system going on. If in doubt, just hatch it out. Okay, I can't do them for everyone or else you guys would kill me. Okay. Cheeks for days. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about that account too. <laughs> the We Rate Dogs, yes. I also just thought, or I uh, followed dog thoughts I think it's called it's the best it's just what dogs think about <laughs> um, but we rate dogs and dog thoughts uh, and I think there was one where it was like bird president hilarious like I just want to thank personally the people who run those because I don't know if they get at all famous or like payment or anything to do that they're just doing it for the love of being goofy as hell on the internet and that is my favorite thing by the way, I was thinking about this. What do you guys think of like doing an exchange of things that you like listen to or watch for entertainment? Because I I love YouTube and podcasts and like entertainment things to listen to while doing artwork. And I know I'm missing out on something that I'll find in 10 years and be like, what? How was I not listening to this? So I would love to know what you guys go to for entertainment. Obviously, there's Netflix. Uh, if there's anything there that like people need to see obviously like Stranger Things something like that I would totally say like you gotta see that come on and uh, currently one of my favorite YouTubers is Jenna Marbles which is just like complete nonsense which is awesome uh, so if you want more random just whatever in your life just look up her channel and watch anything right now <laughs> Uh, if you saw her years past, her channel has changed a lot since then, so uh, just try it out. See what you like. Also, her boyfriend, uh, Julian Solomita. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I love both of their channels, because uh, Julian does a lot of vlogging and travel stuff, uh, like 
what was it? Uh, Last Minute Trips is his series where he throws a dart at a map with his friend Colin and they just go wherever it lands. And it's like the most beautiful and genuine way to experience a place. Like he does drone footage and just really captures it all really well. And it makes me want to travel all the more. And I already want to travel, so it's a good one. <laughs> I think I'm going to add a little bit of line to the sweater and then we can move on to the next one. So guys... Get your votes ready, what you want out of the the bird, alligator, slash crocodile, uh, tiger, slash snow leopard. And we have to decide whether this is a tiger or a snow leopard. Got to make it up. <laughs> um, so just vote what you want. And then uh, in the chat, of course, I don't have a poll. I'm not fancy like that. <laughs> uh, but if there is something else like another animal that you are like die hard you've got to draw that or something like that just like say so and I might make sketch it out for you doing little uh, golden hatches this time because I felt like it needed some light touch And the trick with the hatches when they're like spaced out is trying to keep them irregular and yet still doing them in a fast, whimsical way. But uh, a lot of it is just sit sitting back and kind of blurring your eyes a little bit to figure out whether it's working or not. And I think his trunk could use a little something something. Let's see not sure if I want to do horizontal lines because then it makes it feel like a worm almost like here guys I'm a worm uh, or if it should go like along that way then it feels almost stretched is that weird windows button what are you doing there some light hatches that's what I'm going for Excellent. Sorry, checking my phone to make sure I'm not missing out on any emergencies. <laughs> Nobody's died yet, so it's a great stream. <laughs> That's all I have to say. You guys are staying safe, right? No playing with knives? Good. Turn around. Oh my gosh, I can't stop singing it in my head. Cute! Okay. I think we're gonna call her good. Beep, beep. All right, real quick, I'm just gonna put in gold shadows for these guys. Make them feel all unified. It's like he's kicking back on his heels. Sure. His face feels so flat. Maybe he needs a little bit more gold showing through. Just a little bit. I'm going to erase a big bit and then I'm going to paint back in with the rough brush. Not too much to distract, but just enough to add visual interest. Yeah, I like that. Just a little bit. And maybe a little bit on his jacket. <laughs> gonna get greedy here with it boom okay uh, and then this do you guys have a favorite so far maybe decided by the colors that I've chosen whoops wrong color Whoa, phone, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> Somebody's reacting to my story. Okay. Uh, let's see. Seen American Gods show. It was very nice on Prime Video. American Gods. Hey, I'm going to write it down. Uh, 
Uh, ooh, speaking of animals, did we mention spirit animals? I just remembered a crazy vision I had about a flaming zombie hippo. Definitely my spirit animal. Uh, okay, did you eat before bed, I'm guessing? <laughs> flaming zombie hippo. So it's already dead. Somebody's trying to light it on fire, and it's a hippo. Seems legit. <laughs> Uh, but I would still be a cuttlefish. <laughs> I mean, cuttlefish are so good at mimicking their surroundings. Just have them near a flaming zombie hippo and they'll just blend right in and become one. So you could be in both. <laughs> and I'm still, uh, and I still am a frog bear rabbit. Wow. Just all of them at once. I would be hard pressed to try to draw that frog bear rabbit all as one, like really well integrated together. Uh, <laughs> little bean says snow kitty <laughs> uh, do the crow mine is the wolf very stylish frog the fox <laughs> you're so fast and it looks amazing the animals all oh, thank you so much <laughs> oh you guys uh, I think if I were to have a spirit animal let's see okay so for Patronuses I got first time I took it was uh, a dolphin and I thought that was really cool because I would love to see a dolphin swimming through trees and stuff and like being out of the water, but like spirity, that'd be super cool. And then uh, my second one was a bloodhound. And I feel like dogs in general are pretty close to my attitude of just, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know, I might be some kind of bird that's like got a really weird sound because I don't know if you guys have heard me laugh much, but like it's, gets real weird. <laughs> Uh, not my little, you know, but like loud laughing, like crying laughing. It, the pitches change dramatically. <laughs> uh, frog bear rabbit. Yeah, I'm trying to draw all three as a mascot logo and it's killing me. Oh my gosh. Yes, that is quite the challenge. I think two is a good one to like mix up, but three animals all in one and like distinctly being each of them. It's a lot. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. Studio Long wants the crow. Lil Bean wants Snow Kitty. Let's see. All right, let's do crow real quick because that's going to be like two colors. And then we can do Snow Kitty. And then what if we could actually get through all of these today? That would be amazing. I mean, I'm trying to do them fast, so let's see if we can get it done. I want them to be a little smaller than the other guys. All right, filling in with gold. And this guy, I think, will be a little bit different because he's going to be predominantly darker. And then his jacket will be lighter. I'm feeling like a, let's see, like a light blue, maybe? Maybe. There we go. Got to make the sound effects or else it doesn't count. Boom, bird. All right, I'm going to make him like a dark purpley, actually. Doop. And I'm going to doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. And that was just duplicating it so that uh, it becomes thicker. And then collapsing it all down. And I'm going to move the sketch up here so we can still see that. I'm going to set it to multiply to make sure we can see it on top of the dark. And I'm trying to be quick, so if you have any questions about things that I like skip over or whatever, just ask away in the chat and I will get to it eventually. This is why I need a... I don't think it's called a mod. What is it when somebody would like read the chat to you? Need somebody to just assist <laughs> so that they can ask me and I don't have to spend time reading. Be great. Okay, I'm going to thin out these toesies a little bit and then we can add some colors to the outfit. They don't have webbing between their toesies, right? Do, do, do. Little wispy cotton ball on his hat. There we go. 
Oh wait, I don't need lines yet. What am I doing? What am I doing? Pressing the Windows key. I mean, normal. Calm, cool, collected. Okay. We're gonna get out the bristle bomb brush again. And then we're going to go with the light aqua. He wants to look like the sky that he fly through. I can't imagine getting a jacket on over a wing. I feel get bad for this guy suddenly. <laughs> like, sorry what I gave you. You can't deal with the world. I'm gonna make his legs a dark orange just cause I want some definition between his, uh, his body and his legs. I'll make them darker. Not that dark. There we go. Alrighty, and then his beak. Crow beaks are black, aren't they? I think so. Color of hat. Green. This is how I decide colors. Hmm, I think so. Oh my gosh, he's so chub. Cute boy. Might make him a smidge lighter, just a little bit. Just so that the lines read against him. There you go. Still get the idea of like dark bird, but not too dark. And I think this green is going to become a little bit more of a mid-tone. Let's see about that. Yeah, I like that better. Maybe with like a stripe. Mm, yeah, sure. The yellow is just all over the place down here. And I'm going to do that little eraser trick again with this guy. Just have a little bit more yellow peeking through. A little bit less up here. All right, cool. We've got some color blocked in. Whoop, whoop. So fast, guys. So fast. Probably because you guys are chatting up a storm and I'm totally ignoring it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, morph between the three. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, frog head, bear body, and rabbit legs. <laughs> Uh, if you get through all of them, you get a 12 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I have to get through all of them. Ah, ah. Okay, uh, studio long. Yeah, I think that's what I'll end up doing. Way more achievable than Frankensteining them. Ugh, Lee always talked about Frankensteining as like the worst thing you could do where you're just slapping parts together. You gotta like really integrate them together. At least he says you have to, but it's all up to you, you know? Art in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> uh, mine was a bear. I do feel safe when my Patronus is guarding me, <laughs> size-wise. Oh my gosh. What kind of bear, though? There are so many kinds of bears. I'd love a panda bear. <laughs> uh, frog, bear, rabbit. Well, Studio Log says two frog, bear, rabbit. Uh, then you have three marks, and you can play around with which one you want to show and how you want to, uh, or uh, and how, when it can't animate. I think it would be fun. I like how you do it with a base color. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, makes it much richer. Studio Long. People have mods who whisper important questions to them. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, what you hinted, Frog Bear Rabbit? I'm a terrible mod. <laughs> I leave the real work to Tatiana. <laughs> uh, I don't even fully understand this mod business. Me either, and I am one. <laughs> Yeah, basically, we're all confused. Yay! <laughs> there are tools. Nobody knows how to use them. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I feel that to my core. <laughs> I Yeah, I would love to have a mod, but uh, I also would love to be a mod. I just basically just want to go back on uh, Adobe Live. <laughs> the way they do things is like super streamlined and beautiful and amazing. And I just want to go back on there. Is he a flat face or is he a smiley face? Or is he a no face? <gasps> I think that I want his beak to stand out a little bit. 
So maybe it's going to be in paint rather than line. We'll see. But I do need his wing slash arm to stand out a bit. So what happens when you mod a channel? Is that like a paid position that you do? Or is it like a friend that you're modding for? I'm not sure like how exactly it works. And you said you don't either. So I mean, <laughs> who am I asking here? <laughs> No, I'm sure you know more than I do. I literally got on Twitch and was like, oh, wait, I can name the stream something. I just figured that out like two streams ago. So I don't I don't know. Do you guys notice if there's a title to the stream? I don't know. He's got a little fluffy underbelly. So cute. Okay, and then he's got, oh, does he have an angry eyebrow? <gasps> oh, I'm so angry. Oh, no. But really, it's just feathers. So cute. Can't get over the cute. Might have this come down just a little bit further so that you can tell it's over his wing. I'll make you a mod. I don't know how to do that either, but I'll make it happen. Nope. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> for free. Oh, man. Uh, well, you just do it for, like, free for fun? Thomas Rolfs made a friend and I a mod because we were the first two people hanging out in his stream. Oh, that's nice. Uh, maybe l larger channels pay people. <laughs> Grumpy crow. <laughs> But basically, you're present in chat, you're helpful, and you have the ability to ban spammers. Gotcha. Okay. Huh. Well, I haven't had a problem with spammers yet, thank goodness. Um, I, I feel like that's a sign of success when you get them, though. <laughs> it's like, you're big enough to get spammers, haha. -ha. <laughs> but um, I hope it's like a fun thing to do rather than a work thing to do. <laughs> Especially if it's for free. Gonna give this guy a little bit of lineage on the rim of his hat. And I think this guy's just gonna have scribbles up here. Just to make it really fun. Scribble, scrabble, scribble, scribble. Does that recall, like, what is it? Uh, oh, I know the name of him. Uh, dirt pile. <laughs> Uh, the the guy from Charlie Brown that is always dirty and he's got like a scribble of dirt coming off of him. I am so blanking on names today. I'm so sorry. Golly. Something about talking just doesn't work sometimes. What is his name? I don't know. But if you guys ever want to be like engaged with the chat or anything in a way that I can help you with, you you let me know. Because I have no idea what the chat is capable of. But um, if I'm holding you back in any way, I can fix that. And I mean, I, I told myself I was going to look into getting a Discord and everything connected with this, but I haven't yet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the worst person. <laughs> so we've got the little spots that are coming back from all of their clothing motifs. And then now we just need jacket lines. And how are we on time? We're at six o'clock. Okay, I have to call it at 6.30. So we're gonna try to rock it through these. And if you hear anything that sounds vaguely like gas, <laughs> that is the chair. <laughs> I promise you, because this chair is just all sorts of, like, bad and creaky. Should he have, like, yeah, these little chunky things connecting it? Oh, 
Okay. And then maybe some like front pocket action. As if he's going to use those pockets. What is he keeping in there? Little seeds? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to do some like consecutive lines at the bottom. This has been one of my favorite ways to finish clothing lately. Again, it's the chair, it's not me. <laughs> and then a little dot, 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 dot. All right, so let's turn off his sketch. I think he wants some light lines on his legs. And little spots, because it's fun. Because you'll be left in the dust when this is stuck by you. Bring you some flower. Your love will be too much. If you guys haven't seen Spider Verse, that is one you gotta see. It's so good. Love that movie. I think Anthony's seen it like 12 times by now. <laughs> kind of crazy, but that's what that boy do. There, I'm going to give him a straight face, and I'm going to, as a last touch, and then we'll move on to the other guy, I'm going to lighten his beak just a tad bit and cool it down. There. So cute! Oh, and then we're gonna give him a drop shadow of gold, because I love gold! And then we will call him good. What a grumpy little baby you are, so cute! And shift and control G. What? What up, G? There pretty dang cute. Although I have to say this guy has more pattern than the other guys so I might have to add, I mean generally speaking, um, I just have to keep it in mind for the next ones. Alright, <laughs> I've been out of this for too long. Uh, okay, here let's see. Frogbear Rabbit, like you just manage the text without looking at the video. Uh, no, as a mod, you don't have to mod every stream at all times. We're normally there because we like to hang out. But if we are busy, it's not like we're forced to log on and mod. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, where's my best friend Anthony tonight? Uh, like, attack him. I mean, where is your best friend Anthony tonight? <laughs> Lamo. I texted him about this, so shame, shame, I know your name. Anthony, it is. <laughs> uh yes and you can find him on social media anthony sims portfolio i believe is his social media that he's using uh gar says discord is the best i like it so uh i like it's so nice to categorize topics and subtopics like photoshop with layers and groups that's awesome and love spider verse it's such a good one <laughs> uh oh yeah what's his social oh, okay i'll look him up awesome yeah, you gotta just be like, what the heck, man? <laughs> what the heck? No, he's probably working a ton. He's been uh, very busy. No, he said he had the day off. <gasps> but he probably filled it with some job. He's constantly getting work. He's, he's a hard worker, that boy. Alright, on to the gator, gator, gator. Okay. You are so cute. I want to give you a yellow rain jacket, but we're already using gold as our backdrop color. So what could you have? It's a really cute rain jacket color. Oh yeah, I'm coloring it in too much. Oh well, I can go back and uncolor it a little bit. Love these little humes. This is a good one for the stream, I feel like. You kind of have to have the right uh, subject matter for painting, for streaming. Because I feel like I could, yes, do like these really in-depth paintings, but it doesn't show you a very 
substantial payoff in the end. Like at the end of this stream, if we get all of these done, that would be a lot to see. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> we did a lot in this one stream. Um, but I used to do paintings that would take like 17, 18 hours or something. And now I'm like 30 minutes and you're done. <laughs> so it's very different. Let's do like a darker mid green. Oh, that's a cute green. Ah, oh, laddie. Let's do that gold again and fill it in a bit. Yeah, this is totally like a technique that I've seen a lot of illustrators picking up is a wash color underneath and it just adds like a sophistication to it that feels really nice. Um, so feel free to use this technique and see if you like it. It's really fun because it just adds depth without really trying. Is that Anthony messaging me? <laughs> no. Oh, Zona. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna chat while well, Zona is saying, hey, she's like, oh, I'm missing it. So I'm gonna, oh, wow, you guys can see yourself. That's my little webcam in the reflection. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna tell her we miss you. But you know, that's what we do. <laughs> Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, Anthony will constantly just lie to me about what he's doing. <laughs> he actually came over and we hung out this weekend, which is really nice to have a person. Remember, I am working from home. I barely ever see anyone. So it's kind of important to have my bestie here. And if any of you guys don't know, I don't know who knows and stuff, but Anthony is my best friend, and he's been a guest on the chat once or twice. Um, so... Yeah, where is he? <laughs> That's basically what we're asking. Uh, Frog by Rabbit. Spider Verse was so good. I got to see it. I'm. Uh, oh, when you were a dev working at Sony, such an epic project that I hope spices everything up in the industry. I think that is done. Like I, I think it's changed everything, and it's the best thing we could have asked for. <laughs> basically, just everything we needed. <laughs> I'm gonna give oh, an orange jacket. Jacket. Do 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 do. Uh, <laughs> tried here while watching. Thank you for sharing. Excellent. Oh, the technique of using an underlayer. That's awesome. I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, and then Frog Bear Rabbit. She's one of the regulars. <laughs> yeah, that's Zona. She's always here with us. Kendall. She's wonderful. Uh, studio long guilt trip being given <laughs> via an Instagram DM. Hell yeah. Now I'm into that. That's uh, exactly how you build relationships. Basically guilt tripping. That's, that's all it takes. <laughs> okay, let's do this. And we can see if we like red better uh, as the jacket color, but we'll just see. I'm going to throw a HUSAT layer on there. Uh, Windows key, why are you so worried? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, forgive the lineage at the Mo. I'm just gonna test out the color. I do think I like red better. Do I? No, I actually like, hmm. Orange is a little less expected, so I'm going to go for orange, just because complimentary is a little obvious, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It sounds so artsy. It's a bit obvious. <laughs> but I do want to play with colors that are a little more out of my comfort zone, so I'm going to do it. I'm also going to add a little bit of a difference of value in the little bumpies on the tail. Beep. Maybe on the nose. Oh, cute. You don't make it easy on me. Give me a reason. Oh, yeah. You know, let me alone. Do, 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 do. That's just a cute color comp. I'm into that. That's adorable. Mm 
I'll be left in the dust If I step by you Give me some flower Your love would be too much Boots Gonna give her boots And she needs a little skirt What's that gonna be? That could be a red, like an orangey red, kind of analogous color scheme. Let's check the values. Yeah. Where does that skirt end? Boom, boom, boom. What do you guys think of these colors? Are they working? Are they horrid? Make it work. That was a little Tim, Tim Gun for you. <laughs> Not Tum Gun, his brother. Let's get a little bit of liney line. I hate you, Windows. Oh my gosh. I don't actually hate them, and it's not that much of a nuisance. It's just one of those things that I like, wish could get fixed right now. She's so cute. Okay, and then a little bit of differentiation between the tail and the leg. And then, let's see, we need some lines for the coat. Those are gonna be darker and redder. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go light. I think I wanna go light. Because this feels like almost a reflective material that I would want this to be made of, going for light lines sometimes feels like the right thing to do. Although honestly, you don't need any excuses to do anything. Basically, you can do whatever you want and not ask forgiveness from anyone, including murder people. Yes, I'm telling that to you. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> My sister fire. <laughs> oh, such sad, much sorrow. Anthony, <laughs> he doesn't seem to have been properly guilted. You know why? Because the boy has no shame. None at all. <laughs> Something very enviable about him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's goofy. Thank you for guilt tripping him for me. I, I uh, would totally do it, but kind of occupied at the mo. What a punk. Having them off kilter is just so fun. Let's do... Could there be... Yeah, there could be. Uh, no, I'm going to do a pattern on the skirt. Kind of like a plaid like the fox has on his scarf. Wow. <laughs> this is way more saturated than he is. So when I line them up all together, I might have to like change some stuff. Ooh, there's a cool uh, sunset going on. Oh my gosh, it's super purple outside. Ah, James, if you're still on, look at the sunset. It's really purple. It's so cool. Wow, I'm like really blown out right now because the lighting changed. <laughs> oh well. So let's get to work on the pattern. Darker, purpler. Mm, doop, 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 doop. This is basically just a gingham. Did you guys ever read that book, The Gingham Dog and the Calico Cat? That was one I was just talking to my mom about because it was one of her favorite childhood stories. And that has come up a lot this year because I'm doing children's books now. We talk about books all the time because she has absolutely loved them throughout my entire life. And I think she's just over the moon that I'm working on them now, which is wonderful. Adding a little bit of a lighter color in there to kind of emphasize the pattern. Emphasize the pattern. Cute. Okay. 
And now I'm going to go back to the lines and add a little bit of detail on the feet because right now they are seriously just blobs. I'm gonna go for a light. Gonna make it look like a baguette. Marie, hurry up. If you don't get that, you need to watch Beauty and the Beast again. Uh, <laughs> James says, wow. <laughs> uh, Long says, do you guys still have snow? No, it actually melted, thank goodness. <laughs> it was about three days, and then uh, real fast, it just went away. Um, James says, I see pink clouds, yeah. Uh, Andre says, are you planning to go to the Bologna Book Fair? Uh, I wanted to, but uh, they actually cut off international travel for U.S. residents this year pretty early because um, the rule at Adobe is that they have to fly you business class, which is very, very expensive. So um, I think they saved that for the UK residents, or I mean, not UK, EU residents, so that they could come over here. And then obviously they're, you know, those are expensive flights, so they're going to save the most of that money for them. Uh, now, I could go to the Children's Book Fair, but uh, it would just be out of my own pocket. And I'm not against that, but I don't know if this is the right year for that because I am doing so many other things at this time of the year. Um, but maybe next year that would be really really cool and then i would totally go on just like a european tour <laughs> because i need to go see europe eventually and i think it would be a really good excuse to just be like yeah it's for work and then also for me <laughs> uh and i think at some point in your life you just have to go travel europe and just experience all of it all at once so that's what i want to do Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to add and take it away. <laughs> now I'm going to add an inner side to this jacket. So you are getting another color. Let's do this. Not the worst, not the best. Yeah, but it adds some depth. Yeah, that's fine. Do, 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 do. No, I don't want that. Is that why I have that there? Whoops. Windows. Windows. We need to have a chat. Like that? No. I'm 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 good with it like this. Okay. Let's get back into the liney. We're rolling, guys. We could actually do this. We've got fifteen minutes left. We can do this. Do you believe in <laughs> pockets on his jackets? <laughs> oh, Andre, what? Uh, was that about the residency? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, whatever the what is, just clarify that and I can answer it. Uh, Studio Long says pockets on his jackets. I could totally add pockets. I'm also considering... I have to like look into my memory of what could be on jackets for a second. But I definitely want to, like, fill the space a little bit better. Oh, cute. Um, 
do 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 let's do trying to think of what's most important on him at the mo I do like the light lines on him quite a bit That's cute. A little patterning on the tail. Just a little bit, not too regular. The jacket definitely needs something. I'm considering a pattern, but also I do like the idea of pockets, maybe as like a color block feature. I could do like a big upper part like that. pretty cute. What if there are buttons? Oh my gosh, what if it was an animal jacket? Like, oh, oh gosh, you guys, it might get cuter. Oops. He wants to be like tiger. Oh, he's going to be a tiger. Ah. So cute. Sorry if this is really annoying my voice in the microphone. It could be horrible. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's just over the top cute. I think I want to put... A little bit of this dark to emphasize it. That's pretty darn cute, I have to say. <laughs> Oh yes, get it, girl. <laughs> Gotta get it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's working so nice. And then oh, we could add little stripes. Oh. Let's see how far we can go down this madness rabbit hole. Oh, that's not okay. Yeah, yeah, ooh, I like it, I like it. I like it like that, I like it like that. Ooh, yeah, baby. Well, alligator wanted to be a little tiger. Ooh. Cute. Also want her neck to just be a little bit more downy. There we go. So it, you know, makes it feel like it connects to the body a little bit more. I'm also going to separate the fingers just a smidge. Even though they're still going to be derpy little fingers, but that's fine. We still want them. Honestly, on most, like, animal type creature anthropomorphizations and stuff, like, I don't need super precise fingers. All right. I think in the sake of time, we're just going to move on. I'm going to add a little drop shadow. The cute. Really happy with how that one went. All right, let's group it. And our last little bub. Have we decided, is he snow leopard or is he tiger? He's a buff buddy. 
That's all I know. Absolute legend. <laughs> Studio Long is digging this a lot. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, real. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Actually, he needs to be a smidge smaller. Trying to keep them generally in proportion to each other so that when we line them all up, we can uh, see them in their true state next to each other. Tiny little legs, teeny tiny little baby legs, oops. And then a big old fluffy tail. <laughs> All right, let's uh, duplicate. And then E, 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 E. Why you know E? Reminder to save, reminder to save for everyone. Uh, I think he needs to be a snow leopard since the croc has the tiger jacket for variety's sake. <laughs> All right, excellent. I will do so. And I think that I will, um, why did that stop working? Control E should be duplicate, right? Oh, did I? Oh, I was, I'm totally wrong. Sorry, my bad. Um, but what I was saying is that we'll decide some of the color schemes, so I'm going to look up Snow Leopard real quick just to make sure I know what I'm thinking of. I just googled snow because I don't know what I'm doing. Leopard. There we go. Snow Leopard. Image search. Check it out. These guys are beautiful. Ooh. So he's like a light tannish gray, and then he's got like a... Uh, white underbelly and what do you call these? Gullets. <laughs> it's going to be really beautiful and we're going to make him gorgeous. Oh, darling. So let me fill him in with like a, a tannish color. Then we can do some overarching a yellow gold. Oh, I got rid of the sketch. That's what I did. I'm a dumbo. It's on the yellow layer. Let me see if I can back up to the point where I did that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got it, guys. All right. I was doing control E instead of control J. Sorry. That was totally my bad. And then Prince Ali. Make way. By the way, general consensus on Aladdin live action. What do you guys think? I want to hear all the deets. I have some feelings. Over all with like the Disney remakes, I always feel like we have the originals, so it's not the end of the world. But whether I like them or not, I, it's not my not my personal bag. <laughs> Although I have heard that the uh, live action Cinderella is a good one, but I haven't seen that one. Of course, the one I haven't seen. Yeah, it was great. Cool see it. Okay, now we've got our sketch, we've got our color layer, and we've got our underlay. So let us go to town. Uh, Studio Lung says, I feel like you could push it into a purpley space too. Ooh. I mean, basically you could make any animal in whatever color you want so no reason to stick to stick to just reality let's do since he said purple I'm gonna give him a purple jacket that's a strong purple I'm gonna desaturate it and darken it a little that's not even purple anymore then what do you do with that for there we go. Party purple, party purple. I feel like this is a windbreaker that my sister had at one point. <laughs> if it has some bright yellow on it, then it is. 90s kids, you know, that fashion. 
It's actually like the Raiders color, and I remember us having a Raiders shirt for some reason. Never into sports, had a Raiders shirt. <laughs> Let's do light blue. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, it, Andre says, I'm not a fan of the remakes. Long says, I think it looks good. I don't get all the controversy over Will Smith being blue. Uh, the OG genie was blue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Andre said, yes, but it had Robin Williams voice, which makes a very funny character. Oh my gosh. Robin Williams is the best. Uh, the trailer was a lot of just animated type though. Yeah. Those like teaser trailers usually don't really give that much. Uh, I do think that the tr trailer market in general could be revamped a lot. <laughs> Uh, Gara says, if you ever visit Holland, there is one festival that's very cool. It's Eindhoven Playgrounds Art Departure, or Department, the place uh, to meet a lot of other artists. Oh, awesome. Here, I'm going to write that down. Eindhoven. I love hearing about stuff like this because you never know when you're going to be in a place and just be like, oh, yeah, what should I check out? And... Um, Especially if I'm doing something, like, all over Europe, <laughs> then definitely. Uh, Studio Long says, no one will live up to Robin Williams, but I am interested to see what Will Smith will bring to the character. Uh, Andre says, I just can't see Timon and Pumbaa live action being as funny as the 2D version. If they get uh, their fi the, the voices in there, I don't know. Because I feel like... The brilliance of Robin Williams was he, I mean, obviously there are a lot of brilliant things, but um, he ad-libbed a lot of lines for Genie. Like, he just came up with that. So how do you follow up a performance that's brilliant and ad-libbed? Uh, it's very difficult, but I don't think that they're necessarily trying to replicate uh, Williams in any way. But my problem isn't with Smith or being blue. I think there's a problem with and this is like a lot of the recent movies. If you guys have seen the Sonic uh, art or even Detective Pikachu, which I know there are a lot of mixed feelings about that, but I do feel like there is this departure from design and reality where they want reality to be the best design. And I just don't think that reality is <laughs> that good. I want it to be better than reality. And so to do that, it is uh, very important to stick true to the original design. So if you look at Sonic the Hedgehog's original design next to the thing that they created, which I believe everyone in existence will agree is a worse looking thing, then that's where my line is drawn. Like, that's where I feel very strongly about it. Um... Will Smith as the genie, I, I'm i fine with him being the genie. I'd rather it be a designed out genie rather than just Will Smith slightly tweaked. Um, but my big thing with that trailer was Jafar. I don't, I didn't get Jafar out of that guy at all. And I think there are plenty of people who could totally sell Jafar. So I don't know what they were going for at all. It felt like somebody who was just an extra like stand in who is like, I will read the lines of Jafar, not delivering it at all. But that's just my opinion. Totally just take that for what it's worth. Um, so I am playing around with the color of this guy probably too much because I'm talking. But I just wanted to make sure that I'm picking something that's good. Because you did make a good point along about like, it doesn't have to be realistic. I am feeling this a little bit or lighter. Since he's a snow leopard, I do feel like he should be pretty light. Excuse me. Uh, Andre says sometimes drawing is better than 3D. I totally agree. <laughs> uh, Studio Long says I am a huge Lion King fan, but not looking forward to that remake. It's not live action. It's all CG, which, yeah, I mean, they're just making it realistic. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so it's really a live, a really not a live action film. Uh, but the same thing, animated draw mo- uh, drawn movies have another magic. Uh, but I'm an illustrator, so I'm suspect. <laughs> I don't think that the CG in the Lion King trailer looked good. Right. <laughs> Granted, teaser trailers are not the final render. There is a hope of it getting better. It is, yeah, there's hope of it getting better, but you can see the direction they're going in. I highly doubt they'll go when, you know, total 360. The thing is, a lot of... They, they act like it's making it better sometimes, where it's like, oh, the 2D was this thing that we're meant to improve on. Just like Avatar The Last Airbender going from animated series to television show. That animated series was the height of what it could be, in my opinion. Like, that was the final feature. And them making a movie is regressing it. Like, I just don't feel like it added anything to the series, and clearly the way it was executed took a lot away from it. Um, but it just makes me overwhelmingly very happy that the 2D animated feature or uh, a series exists. Now, the most important thing is that the animated features get to exist. I think that it would be horrible if they opted for one over the other. And both can exist. I'm fine with that. But if they said, no, we're not going to do a 2D animated feature because we want to do the CG or live action version, then it would be really, really bad. Um, Because in my opinion, you should have the medium fit the story in a lot of ways. And like Avatar is a perfect example of how it should exist and how it's shown so much more powerfully in 2D animation. Again, just opinions. (laughs) Uh, Yes, so Studio Long says, and Disney has a ton of money, so I'm hopeful that they will do things right. Gar says agree. <laughs> I know. It's it's a lot of uh, hoping that they'll pull it out of the bag. <laughs> a lot, a lot of that. All right, I'm going to make this more saturated, a little bit darker, and a little bit more purple. And then I'm going to stop touching the color so that we can run through this guy because I think we're already past deadline. I'm so sorry. Um, and then we will call it a night after this guy is somewhat presentable. <laughs> that sound good to everybody good and his pants are gonna be yeah I'm fine with that it's okay I might change his oh I did the thing I did the thing I painted the pants on the same layer as the shirt, and they were touching, so that's what I don't like. <laughs> um, let's do... Hmm. I'm going to put gold stripes on his shirt. I definitely feel like I gave him kind of a 90s feel. <laughs> That's me. I do that. Mm, no. Gonna do a little checker pattern. at the bottom of the jacket so it steps there and I'm gonna put a little touch over here boom looking fly as hell <laughs> uh, and then let's see still gonna add a little bit more variation to his fur color. I think I'm going to add, well, he's got to have spots to be a snow leopard. Let's do slightly darker and we're just going to throw it on another layer. He's got more layers than the other guys just because he's got a lot more detail going on, but not so much that I'm worried. Hmm. 
And I'm going to make his ears a little bit more solidly colored than reality, just because I want them to be their own thing. If that makes any sense at all. I want them to stand out. <laughs> be nice and ambiguous, Anna. Okay. Okay, I will. We've got big, big uh, spots on their tail, so it looks almost like stripes. Like they wrap around spots. Yeah. Okay. Might have to take some detail off of this jacket because it's getting too busy. Yeah, I think we're going to have to ditch that. All right. I'm going to add some lines now. We're almost there, crew. We're making it through. Making it through, crew. And I'm going to do some more hatching down here like we did for elephant pants. I think that's the denotation that it's denim for me. Oh my. Oh, just more <laughs> notifications. Sorry. I always feel like it's going to be Anthony being like, hey, you, Lima. And then, uh, nope, it never is. <laughs> I miss him calling me Lima. No. <laughs> All right. Filling it in. If I were to spend a little bit more time on this, I might give him a little ripped knee. Cause he's a rough and tumble guy he out there but at the mo i just want to finish these guys to a semi uh finished state and then i might button up a few things and then i'll post them and you guys get all the credit does that sound good because we're making this happen together you kind of forced me to work at a somewhat more controlled pace where I'm not like looking at other things every once in a while which is definitely productive I think it's a definite upside of streaming uh, uh, oh I just saw the Lion King on Broadway show this weekend oh my gosh that's amazing great example of a great ap adaptation of the animation I totally agree with that it's so true that that one it adds something, something different, but something equally amazing. Um, I have seen that on, not Broadway, but when it came through Portland, the moment that the music starts and the animals go through the audience, it just feels so momentous. I was definitely tearing up. It was a wonderful experience. So highly recommend if you haven't seen. Uh, Andre says, I have not seen that series, watched the live action, but did not see it all. What? You have to watch it, Andre. The movie is nothing. The series is everything. Please, please watch it. Uh, Frog Bear Rabbit. Oh, bye. It was wonderful. Thank you so much for staying. And you're amazing. And good luck with the Frog Bear Rabbit uh, design. You're amazing. So I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> uh, Studio Long says, I tried, Anna. <laughs> See you, Frog Bear Rabbit. Uh, Frog Bear Rabbit says, I agree. No more VFX Disney movies. And I work in VFX. <laughs> Uh, are you tuning into Thomas's stream tomorrow? Thomas's stream. I don't know of one. I need to know what that is. <laughs> uh, but I don't have a plan to. I'm actually going to be at an eye appointment in the morning and then I'm meeting a friend for boba tea after that. It's going to be great. First time out of the house in like two months. <laughs> Uh, Andre says, bye, Frogbear Rabbit. <laughs> Frogbear Rabbit says, I'll try to, uh, try, but he started at like 6 a.m. Oh, you guys are talking about a Thomas that you know. Awesome. Uh, lol, it does. <laughs> Which is either my sleep time or my meditate and journal time. Hey, meditation and journal time. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Andre says, oh my, would love to see that. <laughs> Trying to stay off social until after midday. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good plan. I, uh, I think journaling, meditating in the morning, all good stuff. I fully support you. All right. I'm just looking at like up on the other screen and then down here. 
My Cintiq is such a gorgeous green. It always looks so juicy on here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's add pattern through line onto the jacket. I think I'm gonna go for a lighter line. Maybe even yellow, let's see. Might unify some of the gold. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go squiggly right here. I'm gonna turn off the sketch and see if that feels okay. Nah, it feels too ornate. Yeah, this might feel a little bit more action-y. A uh, little bit better. We'll see how it works. I can always change the color of it after the fact. Um, and I need to add his face details. That's an easy thing that we can go back and put in. Okay, and then this guy is just gonna be another puff puff. Oh, and then we can do a little like stitches around the arm area, separate it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change the color of those lines, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna add some of his face details. Oh, he's got such a cute, bulbous little nose. And he's got some fur, so I'm gonna add some little textures sticking out. Oh yeah, I want to add the lighter fur color into the inside of his ears as well. He's such a cute little gent. I'm missing out on everything. Okay. Uh, awesome. Andre added Airbender to his must-see list. Yeah. Uh, and then any more recommendations for cool series? Uh, studio says, have you watched Hilda on Netflix? Add it. <laughs> uh, watch The Dragon Prince. And I have not uh, I have not watched Dragon Prince yet, but that's on the list. Also, along with that, Carmen Sandiego. Uh, I know some artists who worked on that, so super proud of them. And, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, Umbrella Academy. I've enjoyed that as of late. Uh, very different feel from Hilda, but still entertaining. Hilda is like the ultimate in whimsical adventure right now, I feel like. And I'm so glad that it started as a children's graphic novel and picked up steam enough to get a show. Like, that is the dream. So, <laughs> more power to them. I think we're going to need a little bit of this action going on. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, it's okay. Thought I was going through the spots, but they're on a separate layer. Yay! All right. I'm going to bring up his light, which is a perfect time to add it to the ears. Checking the foamy. <laughs> Anthony says, oops, I missed it about the stream. All right, we're getting close to the end here, folks. All right, we're gonna turn off the sketch, see how he's looking. 
I think that I'm going to turn his jacket detail lines dark. And then maybe add a little bit of variation in the color of it. Yeah, that's much more subtle. And then on the purple, let's see. Let's, ooh, let's, I hate you, stop. Um, let's do some kind of like graphic color block of some sort. I guess it's more of a value block, but still. That's kind of something that would happen in uh, windbreaker jackets. And then I'll put it up here. Might totally change the colors of this guy, but don't worry about that. It'll happen in post. <laughs> and I'm going to clean up the line of his jeans a little bit. And then I think all we need is a little bit of lineage on his shirt. And then we can pop in that drop shadow and call ourselves good. Whoops. I'm going to go for a light color. I'm going to put some vertical stripes on his horizontal stripes. <laughs> and then... Just some finishing touches around each end of the shirt. Trying it out. Oh, and I need to clean up his feet a little bit. Put some shoes on those bibbas. There we go. Okay, uh, so his shoe color, I'm going to make dark purple. <laughs> Long, I think he said, like, maybe make him purpley, and so I made him all purple. <laughs> I mean, it's like subtle purples, but it's still purple. And I'm going to give him some shoelaces as well, because I like those. And maybe some, like, little zippery kind of feeling details. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Okay, and then uh, let's see, any more, any more stuff I can see at this very moment. Let's see, uh, I haven't seen Carmen San Diego yet, and have you seen the Umbrella Academy comics? Uh, I have seen them, but I haven't read all of them. So uh, I am a big fan of Gerard Way, and I like have followed his journey through that. Um, and hey, through Dark Horse, what, what, Portland. But uh, I haven't like picked them up and read them. They're on the list along with like all the Hellboy comics too, because I went to a talk with my, Mike Mignola when I was in New York and I bought one of his books there, but like I haven't read them all and I feel bad about that because I'm a big fan of his work, but like I've only seen images when I should know his like storytelling and everything. So um, yeah, it's on a list on a very high list of good things to look at uh let's see i was very lucky to meet the artist gabriel ba yeah and his twin brother i i'm guessing that's how you say it maybe it's gabriel bo i don't know <laughs> but that's awesome uh studio long says i need to get back to it wow andre so cool <laughs> yes uh andre says it was i was speechless one of my faves for sure I uh, love the little fur lines in the leopard's ears. Oh, I'm glad. Gar says, so stylish, sparkly. Thumbs up. <laughs> uh, lol, I like it. <laughs> I was late to the stream. What were the, uh, what are these gorgeous characters for? A book? <laughs> they are, at the moment, my therapy. <laughs> so uh, they are for nothing in particular. I think I drew them when I was on a plane uh, at some point. I would love to make a book of animal kind of characters because I do feel like they can convey some like fantastical element while telling a very um, human story. And 
I love that. I love feeling like there's something about it that's just a little bit of fantasy. Um, but the purpose for it is not uh, necessarily to fit a project. It's more to make and then maybe make a project fit it. But yeah, they are fun to make. And I am a big proponent of if you're feeling like drawing, just draw. Like, don't wait for X, Y, and Z to fall in place. Um, now, obviously, you have to get work done sometime, but like having your own sketch time is still very sacred and important to me. I think that everybody should just kind of follow their bliss every once in a while. All right, we're going to throw in his shadow and call it good. I don't know if he's my favorite of the bunch, but I think that he is uh, close to being something I like. All right, excellent. Okay, now that we have all these guys, I'm going to duplicate them all. Wow, <laughs> that's quite the, the stack right there. <laughs> um, I'm going to duplicate them, uh, smash them down, and then I'll put them in a lineup so we can see all of them together. So we've got Fox. Oh, I should keep track of this. Okay, I'm going to do it above this layer. There we go. Fox, uh, other one, frog, elephant, um, then bird, then alligator, and then Oops, we've got our snow leopard. Boom, that was just from memory, guys. I'm on top of it. <laughs> all right, let's squash them all down. Make it that big. Meh. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it as big as possible on the screen and fill it with these maminals. Okay. We've got frog, we've got olifant, we've got burb, we've got alligator, we've got our little uh, snow leopard. I mean, come on, they're a pretty cute group. Uh, the elephant and the snow leopard are a little similar colored, so I'm going to break it up by moving this guy over here. It's so funny, I can't stop that like feeling of the whole page needs to be designed. Okay. How awesome. I love it. I love it. That's so good. Oh, it's so satisfying to see the, oh, whoops. <laughs> so satisfying to see them all together. I hope you guys love it too. Uh, I think that <laughs> 12 out of 10. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> That's all I wanted was just the 12 out of 10. Hell yeah. <laughs> Grumpy Crow is even going the opposite direction. <laughs> He's just different, okay? He's having a little bit of an upset morning. Oh, not all animals can be happy. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, these guys are real cute. I think I'll post them definitely this week. I have the inclination to just post them as they are because I don't think everything has to be perfect before being posted. I think some of it can just go up. Um, so... Thank you guys so much for joining in. It was awesome to talk to you and to create so much with you. Like, I think this is definitely the most we've done in one stream. <laughs> it's also probably the longest. I think this is two and a half hours, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. But I feel productive because of it. So yay. Um, and maybe someday you'll see these guys in a book and it'll be awesome. So uh, if you're looking at it on a bad screen or anything, then like definitely wait till I post it and look at it on a good screen because... Like, on my Cintiq, the colors pop a lot more than on my other screen. So I just want you to, like, get the full effect of how cool they look. Um, that being said, thank you so much. I will see you again some other time. Uh, I'm really glad that people can create along with me on these streams. So thank you for joining in. And, uh, oh, I never got to show off. I have a new sweatshirt. This came from New York. This is Zel or Link's... Uh, shield from Breath of the Wild and it even has this little like Legend of Zelda crest on it and then it says Nintendo Store New York ah it's so cool but yeah I love this sweatshirt so you might see me in it like all the time anyways have a great night I'm going to go eat dinner and uh enjoy yourselves in the meantime bye oh if I can stop the stream no my ah, ah, bye